is giving them a voice to be able to express who they are and what they see each and every day in their own society. You find the moment you don't give people an opportunity to express themselves, then uh, whenever they want to express themselves, they'll take stones and they'll go to the city center and they'll be like, Tunataka Hakietu, we want our rights, you know, and their rights is go breaking up everything and that's exactly what we are trying to change. Because one thing I discovered is uh, all the riots you see in Nairobi, the political riots you see in Nairobi, are all, uh, you know, I, we, we watch TV, you're watching TV and you know, I know this guy, I know this guy, I know this guy. You see all the people I see in Madare, the people throwing stones in, in, this, in the city center. If these people have a way to channel their own, uh, to channel their own um, grievances, it would be easier. Because someone, you know, yeah, someone had me and they took an action. But now they feel nobody takes, nobody listens to them. Because nobody even comes down here to listen to the people. that uh, it's a low income in place uh, you, you find that kids actually at times are used like income assets in their homes you see like maybe a parent may decide no you're not you're not at school now can you can you go can you maybe can you go and maybe look for some wood can you can you go and look maybe some bones and we sell them and then we get something little to eat it's, in Madara it's like a hand to mouth actually the situation is it's about that day Each and every child who is taught here yeah, is, is capable of doing something after they have been taught how to draw, to sketch, to paint. Help me. If I don't have a job, I will get in drawing. I like being here because I make sense even though I don't know a lot Sketch, paint, to use colors. I always, I always like it because of it. It's it's good. I like teaching my sister, and she likes paint. She always play with it. Before I come here, I have I don't have. A, Good discipline for elders in our slum there. So until I come here, I have discipline, and uh, I I think I have I have found my talent in this place. We, we, we have more boys than girls. First, because the parents around this place, the parents have really are, are really more protective. Uh, about their girls, they don't want to let their girls come and learn. It has been a problem from, from, from the time we started. You know, the parents don't want to let their, children, their, their girls come and also nurture their talents. You know, they, they'd rather just keep them at home, you know, doing the, the domestic chores and, 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 and stuff. And 
and they, 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 they need more sensitization to be able to know and to be able to, to know that the, also the girls also have talents just like the boys and they, they, they should be given an opportunity to, to you know, explore and nurture their talent. I've learned how to express feelings through heart. I feel very nice because when, in, when I'm home, sometimes I don't go to school but just say I'm at home. So when I'm at home, sometimes I, go to, I don't go to school because of money. And, uh, yeah, it's just because of school. So when I'm here, I feel happy with my friends. I feel very good drawing on canvases, painting, and that's that's my talent. From the time I came here, I've been learning how to live with people, have respect, and how even to 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 to, to, to show our emotional through art and how to express how people are supposed to live in our country in peaceful. I've learned about do not fight to the places or even when you are going somewhere you find somebody fighting, you tell them that to stop fighting. I, I learned to do those people who are fighting in 2007, they are fighting and I learned to draw them. We can stop fighting by drawing, singing and drumming. And I really love to work with kids. Working with kids, they really teach us a lot. That's the benefit of working with kids. They will teach us, our adults, a lot. I didn't have the opportunity to, to do something like this. And here I am. It's like a, a call. I'm an, I'm an artist on call. These children are crying because their parents are dead because of AIDS. Even if it is the same. And uh, are these people that you knew? No. No. Were these people that you imagined? Yes. But before we painted, we we talked as a group, and everyone knew, everyone removed this <laughs> this idea. And there, are, there were others who were affected. So we used the ideas to paint it. This, this, thing, this will be kind of people around us so that they can go get tested for HIV. Most people in Africa does not, does not, does not like the thing that they are going to be tested and going to find positive. They know that they, if they are going positive, their life will be at risk. But now, when they when they see this picture, they will get more encouraged and they will start visiting the hospitals. So this the, this, that was the theme of the picture. Every person go and visit the city. part is talking about love and peace. You see this guy was trying to hang himself because he was HIV positive and the people around him, the community came and talked to him and this guy is saying you not hang yourself. How do you feel about the fact that you can come to Watoto? Uh, what quite to trust on Saturdays. I always feel gorgeous. <laughs>